And then I said this complete sentence to my girlfriend. At the end of the day, it's an unpaid charity gig, three weeks before Christmas Day. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> 24 hours later, a news story about the events that had transpired during my set at the Lord's Tavern's Christmas lunch under the headline, Comedian Pelted with Bread Rolls at Charity Event was the number one most read story on several news websites. My mother found out because my cousin phoned her from Singapore. <laughs> Now listen, I'm gonna tell you everything that happened in the 24 hours between me arriving at that hotel and me ending up in the news, because it was a debacle. It easily shot its way into my top five worst gigs of all time. I'll give you a flavor of the rest of that list in chronological order. 2007, chased off stage by a Scottish heavy metal band. <laughs> But what had happened is the venue had been double booked. I went on and it turned out the band and its fans not in the mood for my brand of whimsy. <laughs> 2010, Kilburn, Northwest London. Look, someone threw a banana at me. Now, this is a bit more complicated than it first appears. I was on stage doing an impression of a bad Cockney accent like Dick Van Dyke in Mary Poppins. I said, oh, have a banana. A man at the back stood up and shouted, here you go, and threw one at my fucking head. And in case you're wondering, the gig did not recover. It's very hard to have a nice, relaxed time at the comedy when performer and audience are thinking, well, we just in a hate crime with props! <laughs> 2012, the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. This is a huge arts festival, and for comedians, it's a real rite of passage, because you go up there, and every day for the month of August, you do the same show in the same room. Just you on stage for an hour. And in 2012, I was doing that for the very, very first time. And I was in a room that, there's about 350 people in here, right? I was in a room that at maximum held 42 people. That is intimate. And two thirds <laughs> of the way into a month that was going pretty well. Wasn't pulling up any trees, but it was going pretty well. I walk out on stage and sat right in the front row, exactly where you are, was none other than Victoria Wood. Now, for younger people in the room who might not understand why there was a collective intake of breath, <laughs> Victoria Wood was a comedic icon. She was a stand-up, an actor, and a comedy writer. She became famous in the early 1980s in England. I was born in England in 1985. I've known who Victoria Wood is my entire life. And it's fair to say that one of the reasons I do this job is because of Victoria Wood. And she fucking hated me. <laughs> She hated me so much. At one point, she looked so angry about one of my jokes that I saw her, got upset, and my body went into what I can only describe as a shame spasm, and I dropped the microphone. And I don't mean in like a cool rapper way. I mean, I said a joke, she did this, and I went, ah! And I know you think you've had a bad day at work. You people haven't fucking lived. You haven't had a bad day at work until you've locked eyes with a childhood hero as they fill with contempt. The only way it could have been worse is if I'd walked out of the venue and got kicked in the nuts by Raphael from the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I walk into this hotel ballroom, there's big banquet tables, I sit in my assigned seat. I'm sat with comedian friends of mine. Uh, Miles Jutt was there, Tim Key was there, Chris Addison was there. We have a lovely Christmas lunch. Then, with increasing horror, I realise I'm gonna have to go on stage and do some of my stupid fucking comedy for jerks. And as I'm walking on stage, I had a real moment of clarity. I thought to myself, I don't belong in these rooms in front of these people. It's a five-star hotel ballroom. There is no atmosphere, the acoustics are awful. It's good for two things, a soulless corporate award ceremony and a fight between Batman and the Riddler. That's all it's good for, right? And also, in terms of the audience, 150 pounds a plate. That is not going to attract a regular cross-section of the British public. For better or worse, I have realised that I belong in these rooms in front of you people. <laughs> like, 